Hey guys, this is Josh from We Are Solstice giving you tutorial number three on our Unity 2D adventure. So here we're going to be assigning scripts to our objects and making it do things. Right now I'm going to make a rotation script that's just going to have the objects rotate. We're going to go into, we're going to right click over here and we're going to create a C sharp script. You could also do JavaScript or Boo script, but for the, this tutorial I'm going to use C sharp. We're going to call it rotation, and then we're going to double click it. It's going to open up Mono Develop, which is the inherent compiler in Unity. So we're going to go in here, and this is basically the default setup for a script. It gives you the Unity engine package and the system.collections package. I'm going to move these down because I personally like that in my programming to have space. And then we're going to create a public float, which is a, a number value that's very large. We're gonna with decimals. We're gonna put that in here and we're gonna call it rotation speed. I could set it to whatever I want. I can make it ten inherently, or I can make it a hundred or one point three or anything. But I'm gonna leave it at its default, which is just zero, and I'll show you what we can do to it once we finish. Now I'm gonna write the script. It's gonna be transform because we're dealing with the transform. Now, inherently, we think that this is dealing with whatever game object it's attached to. So, game object transform is talking about if we assign this to an object, the game object is inherent in the script. So, we don't have to write game object. We can just do transform dot rotate, which is a class that's inherited in the Unity engine and system collections packages. And it gives vector 3 Euler angles. This is basically an x, y, or z value. We could set them all to 0 and then just do space, the world space that we're dealing with. But we're going to change one of these because our script won't do anything if we don't rotate anything. We're going to make the y axis be where we're rotating. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the variable that we made. And then we're going to multiply it by time dot delta time, which is the time that happens naturally as you're playing. And then we're going to go ahead and save this because every single script needs to be saved before Unity will register it in. And you'll see after a second it kind of reboots with what you just wrote. So now we're going to drag this script onto one of our cubes. And we're going to click the cube and we're going to see that it's in the inspector and it shows the default value over here. Now it only shows that because in our script we set it to public. If we set that to private and we saved it and we go back and we let it reboot, it's not going to let you edit it from the inspector. Now we like to use the inspector because it allows us to change things and we're going to want to change multiple values at different times. So we're going to leave that on public. We're going to go back and it's back. All right. So now we're going to set this to 50, and then we're going to hit play. Ah, it's rotating. Lovely. All right. So another thing we're going to go over is the fact that if I change this when I hit play, so right now we're watching it, I can change this, and it will slow down if I go left, and if I go up, it'll speed up. But it does not save anything while the play button is hit. If I click this, it goes right back to what it was originally set. If I change it here and make it 100 and then hit play, it'll save. It'll be totally fine. But that's a very important thing to know because if you change a lot of things with that clicked and then you uncheck it, you're going to see that all of the progress you made is gone. So we're going to also drag this onto the cube here. And then we're going to change this to negative 50. And then we're going to hit play. And we're going to see that they're spinning in opposite directions, which is just a cool little thing that you can do with, with these scripts. Now, another thing that you can see is that if I uncheck these, that means it's not going to register that the script is on. I'm going to drag it onto the folder that it's holding, that's holding them. And then I'm going to make this 40. Now, if I hit play, they're all rotating, and they're rotating within the object transform so it's not necessarily what the cube it's not based on where the cubes are it's where the object is so this is rotating based on them it's just another cool little way you can do different effects and things with rotation and and that's just a 
the basics of applying a script. So I'll see you guys next time.